Okay, folks, the spirit is leading me, so you should pay attention with all of your attention. And you should take what the spirit says literally. You should not make a mockery out of it, and you shouldn't reject the message. And so today's topic is the ancients warned us of Nibiru, the end. The ancients warned us. And so we're going to start off with Romans 15, 4. For whatever was written in earlier times, that's ancient times, was written for our instruction and that's today. So that through perseverance and the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. So it's saying you have to learn from the ancient script. You have to learn from the ancient pattern. Keep going. Deuteronomy 32.7 Remember the days of old. Consider the years of all generations. So it ain't just the scripture of the Bible or the Torah or anything else. It's also from the generations that pass. You have to learn from them. And it says, ask your father and he will inform you, your elders, and they will tell you. Go seek and see what happened before. So they left these hieroglyphics as a warning to these generations of what was coming to them back then. And then we see the devastation of it. So we'll go to Zechariah 1, number 4. So don't be like your fathers to whom the former prophets proclaimed saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, like I'm saying right now. Return now from your evil ways and from your evil deeds. But they did not listen or give heed to me, declares the Lord. So what does he do? He sends the same thing he been sending. A planetary system to destroy their civilizations. Or what they call civilization. 1 Corinthians 10, 6, number 11. Now, these things happen as examples for us. So that we would not crave evil. So we watch them get destroyed and then we don't want to go the same route as them because we saw what happened to all these civilizations. The Mayans, the Egyptians, and the Sumerians. So things as they also crave do not be idolaters. And some of them were as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and stood up to play like they're doing today. Nor let us act immorally like they do in the day. All this homosexuality and sexuality. As some of them did. And 23,000 fell in one day, says God. I destroyed a whole lot of you all at once. For this harlotry, this immorality. You know, for this slackerness. For all you playing around. That's what life is for, to play. The Spirit told me today that the hieroglyphics of ancient times were warnings of what is to come in modern day times. So today we will be looking at, at closely. First off, let me make one thing clear. And this is to you idiots. I don't give a fuck about anyone else's interpretation of these ancient depictions. I'm going to make that clear. You can say whatever, and you can say, and you can repeat off of every other people all you want to. They wasn't back in ancient Samaria, or Egypt, or Mayan. They don't know. And so what? Are they from ancient Samaria, Egypt, or Mayan? No. It, are, it all has the same results. Their entire civilizations were wiped out by God it all has the exact same results so all three that left the hieroglyphics are gone wiped out so what's the lesson in that what was in the hieroglyphics so we're going to start off with this ancient depiction of the kings and I'm going to say it again don't come to me telling me that somebody else said something you following bitch made motherfuckers don't tell me shit 
about what somebody else says and they degrees and shit and they just humans that sit down and shit in the toilet like me the fuck out of here I'm led by the spirit and the spirit tells me the truth so we're gonna start off with this ancient depiction of the king's three wisest men showing him that this large planetary body is in their solar system is on its way and it will wipe out all of mankind the king then asked the wise man what do you suggest and they state let's build a pyramid but not just any pyramid one with 2.5 ton bricks built so heavy and so strong and so sturdy and so precise that it should be able to withstand what's to come it wasn't just a tomb but it was a tomb just like them and their underground bungers today all those things are just tombs for them for the kings so how do we know this is factual and has strong merit why such expensive heavy weights for a building it will make no sense to distress the people in building such a building except for protection or to hide you from something or to block something and now we will take a look at this ancient depiction of Nibiru flying over the pyramids as a very strong factual indication of that's why they built them so just like today they get dumbed down ignorant people to build their structures to hide from the wrath of God only some people start asking questions like today and start seeing something for themselves and so each governing body hire people to silence the ones waking up and to hide the evidence or even lie about it as you see today why would they lie because why would the people build something to hide you they'll build something to hide themselves if you tell them the truth you know so while we admiring all these ancient civilization and cultures they scum like today's civilization and, and cultures scum that need to be destroyed so we keep going they hire ancient agents to come to my channel oh you should see the last video I did of what I said I'm seeing red my god I have never seen so many agents come I mean the whole page look at the comments of it it's filled with a saying it's it's lights it's not real it's this and that oh you sly devil you this I mean they, they all came and this is what they did in ancient times they hire these idiots to dumb down mankind civilization so you can keep building their structures and working for them and you don't go rogue on their asses because if you knew that death was coming you'd all quit your goddamn McDonald jobs and your factory jobs and you get your shit straight with God they don't want you to know they want you to work and play and eat and marry just like it said in the days of Noah all the way to the end it never stops the same pattern so they coming to my channel and making a mockery out of the information so that the people can stay blinded and say oh this guy's a fucking fool no I'm no motherfucking fool see I'm building the ark you know I'm the one. I'm Noah of a modern day society. I'm building the ark to save me and my family. And you know what the, 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 the ironic part of it is? They had eight and we had eight. They building something to say they family. We doing it. He got heavily into the scriptures and God. And, 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 and he preached the word to his family and kept his family straight just like me. It's almost an identical same thing. And he received an inspiration and revelation to build. And, and so am I. It's a weird thing. And then what do the people do to Moses? Come by and make a mockery out of him. Hey, look, we in a drought and this mother, dumb motherfucker is building a fucking ship. We in a drought and this dumb motherfucker is building a motherfucker. He got all this damn family. Poor family, man. Look at him. I mean, they should be out having fun and stuff. They got teenagers there. They should be living their lives. Like they say to me and my family. Why don't you just let them out and go live their lives and do what? Fuck up and get somebody pregnant, catch diseases, and shoot themselves in the head because they can't handle reality like the rest of y'all. Mutts. Anyway. So, they make a mockery out of this information so the people can stay blinded. So, the depictions is 
The people have always spotted the danger as you see in it. But they believe their lying government bodies who rock them back to sleep through entertainment and fear like today. Teresa Price saw it as well, at least twice, the same night Becky and Robert did, and again when she was walking her dogs the following week. This time, things were even more bizarre. It was up in the sky and just dropped, you know, how many feet I don't know, but it just dropped and then stayed stationary in that lower position. The Bible states in Matthew 13, 13, though seeing, they do not see, though hearing, they do not hear, or understand it ain't like messengers and warners and prophets and people like me didn't come and tell you things you belighted listening to the majority when the majority all die even the king so in the ancient depictions numbers are prevalent in the end the numbers of 7 11 12 13 and so on and amazingly enough the same imagery is being shown and spotted today in these numbers as you see in our reality in the Bible the number 13 has a specific meaning and this meaning is perfectly illustrated by the symbolic aspect of the Last Supper of Jesus. The last meal with his 12 disciples, Judas being the 13th apostle, the one that betrayed Jesus. So, this is the destroyer. It has seven planets, seven crowns. This is the destroyer. This is the dragon. This is the lion coming out of his thicket to destroy our Gentiles, to make their land desolate. It has a meteor debris field, they say, one to two million miles long, with trillions, a trillion, or trillions of meteorites, dust debris in it. So let's take a look at this. People are spotting this, you know, in the skies, and they seeing some of the meteorites glowing in our sky. one flying in between the other two that I'm watching. These are not balloons. These are not balloons, people. This is beautiful. A sighting over Carmichael, California. The time is, I don't know what the time is. It's five o'clock, six o'clock. Well, folks, the truth is from your Lord alone. It didn't come from me. What I'm saying to you, it didn't come from me. What I'm saying to you today, it did not come from me. I started it off of who it came from. Believe it or not. You know, the truth is from your Lord alone. And it boils down to who can hear, O Israel, and who refuse? Afternoon.